Phil Heath at the 2018 Mr. Olympia vs. Kai Green at the 2016 Arnold Classic. 2016 was the year which witnessed Kai's last competition, but he's still making signals from time to time about his potential return. These were the two bodybuilders' latest versions. The front double biceps shows that both have incredibly massive and separated arms, with Phil having the longer biceps but Kai has the better peak. Kai looks more aesthetic as he flows better than Phil who always had troubles hitting this pose, which obviously worsened since 2011. Phil definitely has the better forearms, which adds to the proportions of his arms. Both have massive and separated quads, but Kai would win this pose. The front lat spread shows the width Kai has in his chest, shoulders and lats, which grants him the better spread over Phil, whose narrow structure does not help him hitting an impressive pose. The great conditioning shows in the striations in the chest and the shoulders. Although Phil has the more massive arms and forearms, Kai would win this pose. The side chest shows the striations they have in their ripped chest and shoulders. Although not wide, Phil's chest is thicker and more rounded than Kai's. They both have incredibly massive and ripped arms and quads, with Phil having the superior traps which shows in this pose although it is not mainly about the traps. It's close between them, but Phil would win it. The back double biceps shows Phil's superior back. Although Kai greatly improved in his back area, he doesn't have the same genetics and muscles quality Phil has in his back and shoulders. And that's why he is considered among the greatest when it comes to these muscular areas in specific. Phil has the superior forearms and the fuller and the better rounded shoulders than Kai who has this gap between the traps and the delts which distorts his symmetry. Phil also has the more powerful traps which perfectly connect with his rear delts and lats. Both have massive and well separated arms, hamstrings and glutes with Phil having the better calves and the superior back conditioning overall. The rear lat spread shows Phil's superior back conditioning. His back looks better ripped and defined than Kai's back, which might be wide but definitely not as ripped. Phil also has the superior traps which form the letter X and extends from his neck towards his lower back. They both have shredded glutes and hamstrings, but Phil would win the back poses. We have to skip the side triceps because I couldn't find high quality side triceps pictures for Kai. But we all know that Phil who has among the best triceps in his era would win this pose. The abs and thighs shows Kai's superior midsection with his wider lats. Kai might not be having the best ripped abs but this would be enough to beat Phil in this pose whose midsection is widely considered among his least impressive areas with the bloated stomach which was the main reason he lost to Sean Rodden. Both have massive and separated thighs with striations in Kai's quads. The most muscular is a winning pose for Phil who has among the best traps and shoulders which greatly contribute in hitting an impressive pose. You can easily notice Phil's superior traps, shoulders and arms. Although not as wide as Kai's, Phil's chest is thicker with the better upper chest area. Notice how Phil's shoulders, arms and forearms flow perfectly, which add to the overall symmetry of this pose, in comparison to Kai, who may have peaky biceps, but very thin forearms that do not match. Both have massive and separated quads, with Phil having the superior calves. So Kai would win the front double biceps, the front lat spread, and the abs and thighs while Phil would win the side chest, the back double biceps, the rear lat spread, the side triceps and the most muscular. I urge Kai to seriously think about competing again before it's too late. That's if he truly cares about his legacy. That was all for this video. Thanks for watching and have a nice one.